Hey guys, this is an amazing thing that I just found out about and we're going to cover storing Python environment variables inside of RStudio and how you can access them over here in the environment pane. So if I go over here, I see R and Python. Um, right now, I don't currently have anything loaded in R and um, in Python, it's just my system environment variables. So if I go back to R here, um, I can see I've got a global environment but I don't really have anything loaded. So I'm going to go through my learning lab 36, where I did TensorFlow, LSTM, uh, a multivariate, multi-step time series analysis. And um, I'm just going to go down through, load some libraries in here, and we'll see that the environment pane starts to uh, fill things up just as normal with the R um, and the RStudio IDE. So if I pull in the data, we'll see that um, we're spinning over here and um, it's pulled in 2 million rows and I've got a data formatted in data raw. Um, I can start plotting and this is nothing new. This is just all in my R. Um, and then as I go down through um, and start running some of this code, I'm doing some plots here and I'm going to keep going and it's going to get a little bit more interesting as soon as I go from doing these R code chunks um, to doing some Python code chunks. So I'm going to do that here in a minute. And let me just scroll down here. Um, this is the last uh, few things that we do in R in that lab. And um, I'm going to get the data prepared. And then now we're into the Python. So right now um, I have Python. And this is only available in the daily update version of RStudio right now. I imagine it's coming soon. But this is like the ultra bleeding edge version of, of the RStudio IDE that I have running here right now. If I go to my help and if I go to um, uh, about RStudio and if I look at the version, I'm running 14442. Uh, again, this is bleeding edge right now. Um, it has not been released, but I want to show you some cool stuff. So I'm going to run down through and I can see I'm running Python code right now. So I'm going to hit the play button here. And right now what it's doing is it's importing um, into Python all of this information here. So now I can actually see and switch back and forth between my different environments, both to see R and Python. So it gets even cooler. Let's run down a few more. So I'm going to do this train split here. And now I can see train split. It's right over here. And if I click this button, I can open that up and you can see exactly what that variable is. You can see what type it is, what value it is, and so on. A lot of different information. And that's just on this variable here. Um, if I do a, a, if I pull this data frame in from R over here, um, so this, this was done in R uh, and I stored it as a variable called DF. So I'm calling that here in Python using r.df and I'm saving it in Python's environment now as df. So if I run this and I can see I don't have any df over here yet. If I run this, now I have in Python a df. And if I click this, you can see what df is. Um, you can see that it consists of these. Uh, these are the different, uh, it's a dictionary and um, it's a list and a list and a list. So you can see what values are in those lists and so on. And then you can explore these even further. Um, or I guess you can't explore them further, but uh, you can see kind of what attributes you're starting to save up here. So um, very cool. Uh, DF is, is, a, is a list here. I'm gonna exit out of that, um, exit out of this. Uh, I can store the or I can start um, grabbing additional information. I'm going to create this variable called features now. And in my Python, I have features. So now I can start to see what environment variables that I have. So this is cool. Um, I don't know of any other IDE that you can do this in uh, right now. Um, see that, see your data science uh, environment variables, the data that you have, the, the values that you have and so on. Um, so, so very cool. And I'm excited because it's coming to RStudio probably soon over the next couple of months. Uh, but you can download it now using the dailies and you can test it out.